Is this what's going on? Well, there's our moon here. And as you can see, the moon still has a red hue around it. And that red hue is still it's, it's hydrogen gas. That is um, the hydrogen atoms or the hydrogen molecules. If you see that little whiteness right there, that's just the light of the moon on the lens of the camera here. So it's not an orb. It's not an orb dancing around. All right. It's the, the light of the moon uh, on the lens camera. You can see it move around with white light right there. You see it right. right. Let me see. Where is it? Right there. Right in that area there. <laughs> All right. So. We had a blood moon, what they call a blood moon, and we talked about this. And the black sun is literally what hydrogen gas, all right, and it's black. It's, when you look at hydrogen, you can check it out online. When you look at hydrogen under infrared, uh, many times the hydrogen um, is according to how the compounds are are within that hydrogen gas. Um, it's a sphere of hydrogen gas with the black sun, um, and it looks black under certain conditions um when you look at an infrared light all right so i um because our moon came in contact with our black sun which is the hydrogen gas um our moon still has residue of the um of the black sun so it's still producing that powerful hydrogen energy remember hydrogen is a carrier of energy and not a source our moon is a source of energy as well as a carrier because our moon controls the temperature of the planet all right the moon is in complete control that's why we talked about the the um the blood moon and how they made it cold all right they they made it cold because you know you gotta understand that we are in what you call the what they call the north we are closer to the arctic circle the arctic circle is extremely extremely hot brothers and sisters the arctic circle is the top of the planet all right this is the very top of this colossal planet we haven't even seen the bottom of the planet i'm telling you guys now we none of us have seen the bottom of the planet all right our planet is colossal but each realm has a sun each realm has a moon all right um each realm has an atmosphere all right literally <laughs> <laughs> so the, the atmosphere may not be the same as this atmosphere. It may be a different gas. We have xenon in this atmosphere. Um, other realms may have nitrogen. Other realms may have something else. You know, other realms may have a carbon dioxide atmosphere where they have a completely white atmosphere. You know, so, you know, because we haven't been to those other realms in this lifetime, we don't know. But what we do know right now is that this is our moon. Isis and she still has um, residue of the black sun on her alright this is why that red hue is there this is why you see that red hue from the moon um, all over it so these Saxons what they have done is they have sprayed the sky with sulfur dioxide and we know we learned about sulfur dioxide how it um is a chemical that literally traps heat all right so what they're doing is they are trying to save their people from the heat of the moon that still has part of the black sun connected to it which is extremely extremely high temperatures all right we have brothers and sisters out here telling people that these white people are moon people and they're not. These Saxons are not moon people. All right. They're not moon people. They're not sun people neither. You know, in order to be a moon being, you must have a soul. And they don't have a soul. The moon regulates our soul. All right. As well as the moon regulates the soul of our realm. All right. The moon controls the water. Literally. The moon is, in, is responsible for growth. That's why you grow at night under the moonlight. <laughs> so these Saxons are not moon people, brothers and sisters. And it's important for you un to understand science. It's un important for you to understand the science of bodies is in, 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 as well as the science of the planet and space and, and, and uh, all the other uh, ranges of science. All right. So. 
what we're looking at here is powerful energy that's still being emitted from our moon which our moon still carries the energy of the black sun and these sexes are literally trying to protect themselves from this black from the, from the energy of the black sun that is still linked to the moon so they're still trying to um block energy from coming to the planet this our our realm needs this heat we need this heat this is powerful um um now is when instead of it being carbon uh dioxide it's it's like a hydrogen carbon it's like a hydrogen carbon dioxide mixed together all right which i'll call it hydrocarbon dioxide and then i'm looking at uh the plane um tr flying towards the moon you know the moon is this is an atmospheric moon just like we have an atmospheric sun and these saxons can't touch it all right the moon is plasma just like the sun is plasma all right and these saxons can't touch it all right there's nothing that they can do about it all right so understand understand overstand brothers and sisters what is going on at this present moment you are learning science all right like i said you got brothers and sisters out here talking about oh they are moon people and we're the sun people no we are sun and moon people this is why they said isis rael brothers and sisters talking about the children of israel all right you don't understand you are not a child of sun and moon deities you are you are isis rael all right if you want to say you're israel which is short for Isis Rael. You can say you're Israel. Isis, this is the moon. Uh, Ra, this is the sun. El means deities. So your sun and moon deities is who we are. Powerful, powerful beings of energy. Powerful, powerful beings of, of frequency. Powerful, powerful beings of of of, of different um, um, gravitational forces. I mean, we are multi dimensional, multi frequency, multi vibrational beings, is who we are. So, our moon is carrying that powerful energy that belongs to us. It is up to us, brothers and sisters, to take ourselves to that next level. You must learn science. Don't go by what someone says and, and, and tell me, oh, well, you know. We're not only sun people, we're moon, de moon deities. Our ancestors meditated under the moon as well as the sun. You must carry both energies. You must carry the solar energy and the lunar energy in order to be properly activated in the, in the, in the method of true spirituality. All right? Now, when you're talking about spirituality, we're still talking science. You're talking about the energy that's all around us, the energy that's within us, the energy that goes through us. So our moon is extremely powerful. Like we say, our moon literally controls the temperature on our planet because our moon emits the frequencies. The sun doesn't emit the frequencies. It's the moon. Just like we said, when Omicron, when they said Omicron destroyed the stock market, that was a frequency from the moon. The moon is the only uh, uh, entity or organism that can change the frequency of the atmosphere. So now the frequencies of the atmosphere is steadily rising and their systems are steadily falling. All right. Very soon the frequencies will be um, multiple frequencies at one time. And when you begin, when our moon begin to emit multiple frequencies at one time, this is literally going to be the death of this system and these sexes because their bodies won't be able to take this type of energy and frequency and vibration. Their bodies won't be able to vibrate on the level because when you're talking about multiple frequencies, you're talking about extremely high vibrations. When you're talking about four or five frequencies at one time, you're talking about extremely high vibrations. All right? So, his fourth brothers and sisters take the lesson of science so our moon controls the frequencies our moon controls the vibrations our moon controls the energies what do our sun control our sun literally controls the power within us all right so our sun controls the power all right and this is our sun links into our spirit our moon links into our soul all right that's the difference the sun powers up the body 
right? But the moon powers up the soul, which links it to the spirit. All right, understand the science behind all of this, brothers and sisters. So we are moon and sun deities, but as we're watching these Saxons, they are spraying the sky with sulfur dioxide because they are trying to protect their people and their system from the frequencies and the vibrations of this new moon and the new sun that we're coming into because we have shifted into another dimension, brothers and sisters. Understand what's going on with us. Understand what's going on around us. All right? Things are changing. Everything is changing. Science is everything. All right, guys? Just want to pass it on to you. But remember, we're moon and sun beings. We are moon and sun deities. Isis Ra El. Isis is the name of the moon. Ra is the name of the sun. El is who we are. Deities. Primordial deities, brothers and sisters. Powerful energy. So like we say, as you see, the moon still has that red hue to it. That's literally from our black sun. That hydrogen gas sphere. And these sexes know. They know. They have the infrared lights. They have all the technology to see what's going on because they're trying to protect themselves. All right. This energy destroys them, literally destroys them, brothers and sisters. You got to understand. It literally destroys them. All right. So catch you guys a little later. All right. This is just a quick science lesson. All right. Holla.